My first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actor. You know him, you love him. He executive produces, directs, and sometimes stars in Madam Secretary. Uh, Madam Secretary. Chief Justice. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. No, I'm not much of a power breakfast type. Mm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just I'm more of a muffin on the fly type. Got it. There's just somebody I need to bump into. Uh, yes, there is. And I wouldn't want to be Senator Morahon right now. <laughs> Please welcome Morgan Freeman. Oh, control. Huh? Absolutely. Oh, no, you got them in the palm of your hand. Squeals of delight when you came out here. I know. Like they've been goosed with an ice pick. I think it was goosed by that guy that said, now, when he comes out here, you know, just give it a real... No, I know that guy. You don't have to coach anybody to like Morgan Freeman. Everybody loves Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All Why right. can't you actually be in Washington, D.C.? Wouldn't that be nice if Morgan Freeman was like a powerful person in Washington, D.C.? You're a mountain of dignity. We need that in Washington, D.C. right now. Someone to look up to. <laughs> did you ever consider did you ever consider politics or anything like that? No, Stephen, I never did consider politics. I'm an actor. That'll do it. It's a fine line. Uh -huh. a fine line. You think? Yeah, you both make things up, but you get paid better. <laughs> Now, so true. The, the show, uh, 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 Madam Secretary, yeah. we all know what Washington's like now, as I was saying. Um, I think people watch that show sometimes. Just to get relief. Yeah. Yeah. To see a Washington that makes a little bit more sense to them. How do you think it compares, like, the, the show compares to the real Washington in your mind? Uh, today, I don't think it compares at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, uh, we don't have a lot of confusion on the show. Because. <laughs> You know who's in control, the director. And we know who's the director's in control. In control yeah, and the which writer. is you for some of the episodes this year, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, one of the episodes. I do the first episode every year. Okay. Every, every season. Every season? How yeah. many seasons have you directed? Three. Three, okay. Yeah. Does it get easier? Or do you, like, do you find the process easier? Are you, do you crack the whip or do you drive the people really hard? I drive the crew. The actors I don't fool around with because they're, they know what they're doing. But crews tend to get a bit complacent, you know, the show is liked, and so I thought, okay, we need to keep moving you all. And I remind them that a NASCAR pit crew can change four tires and give you a tank of gas in under 14 seconds. Wow. Just think wow. about that. I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah. 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 I want you to know, I, so, my crew is the best crew. I never have to remind them to be fast at all. So how do you, how do you... Best way to get them to speed up. That's exactly. How do you remind them? What, did you say, like, NASCAR does it, you can't well, do? Well, if, if, if I feel like they're taking too long to change a light or something like that, I go, zing, zing, zing! <laughs> that's, that's the guy with the, <laughs> with the wow. drill. Wow, well, yeah. oh, I like that. That's kind of gentle and yet hostile at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. I, I, it's merely a reminder, not like a whip. That know? we could do it better. That we yeah. could do better. Yeah. Now, you, uh, I loved your Nat Geo show, uh, Through the Wormhole, mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, you have a new show. You have uh, a new show called The Story, the Story of, Us. of Us. Is With that me. anything like This Is Us? Am I going to cry through the entire, entire show? Uh, no, not through the entire show. There will be some, some episodes that are going to be quite uplifting. What's the, what's the mission? The mission is just to show us who we are, Humanity to humanity. Humanity to humanity. Uh, what it is that really keeps us together. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems like this might not be a bad time to be airing such a show mm -hmm. because we think we're splitting apart. We're not. Oh, how so? How so? You know. The, the, the well, divisiveness is an illusion yeah, right now? Yeah, we've talking about the divisiveness, you know, and, and the us and them quality of life right now. But... Uh, 
You know, uh, life moves in waves. It's almost predictable what's going to be happening a thousand years from now with us. Because you've played God so many times, I suppose. <laughs> I can't see a thousand. I can't see a thousand years in the future. Is there some place you went? Uh, like, how many countries did you go to? Uh, work uh, we went to ten countries on this trip. Is there one place where you learned more about us than other countries? Can I say that? I wouldn't say that, but I went to south, southern Ethiopia, and I visited um, a tribe of people called the Hammer. 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 Like hammer. The hammer. Yeah. Uh, and they live there in the Omo Valley, just as they did hundreds of years ago. Uh, we were there for the it was bull jumping ceremony, which is what a young man does when he, that's his rite of passage. He jumps over a bull? He jumps over a bunch of bulls. He doesn't really jump over them, he just runs, over, runs along them. Still sounds dangerous. It is dangerous. Yes. Uh, but his, all of the females and his family, and they may number in the teens, come out to support him and to show him their love, how much they love him. They have nine men selected. I forget what they call them. A baseball team. <laughs> they could. <laughs> and they whip these women. Wait, wait a second. So the boy is running along the backs of the he's going bulls. To. It, this is all built up to the moment when he's going to do that. And the nine men are whipping the women? Doesn't quite go like this. You just said, you just said is whipping. <laughs> they do, they do. They just nine men and they're over here in the shade somewhere and these ladies are jumping up and down. They wear these bells on their, on their legs so you're gonna ching, 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 and they jump up and down and they're having fun. And then they'll go over, they have, they collect these whips themselves yeah. and they'll go over and they will cajole or insult a man to take this whip and give me a good lick. So the man will take the whip and go out into the middle of this circle and he goes, Pow! Right across there. And the women don't even flinch. They go straight to HR. <laughs> <laughs> they should. But, don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't, do, don't listen to this man. Goes on. I mean, that, I... I I was, I want to say enthralled, but it doesn't sound right. Uh, Sounds close to right. Well, what do you, but what did you learn from it, I guess? Is what don't do that. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. We got to take a little break. Uh, I hope you can stick around. We'll be right back with more Morgan Freeman. Don't go anywhere and don't whip anybody.